Woo, we're way up in the air here. Well, move the camera back a little bit. Terra Mundi. Is that Quatamundi? Like it's another animal? Is it a primate? What is this? And you know what? Here's the thing. This is the river wolf, okay? This is from Beyond EDC. Now, hold on a minute, okay? Because it's on the cover of their catty log. And I got this from David Sun, who's the representative there. This is a John Demko design, okay? The river wolf. Now, I, I, I had to get one. And, of course, they're sold out because they were made in a limited edition and of course, I'm sure they'll come back with a different color handle or a different blade material or something, you know, modified change. So it won't be a reiteration of this because when they do them limited, they do them limited. Okay, but I was just going to say, beyond EDC, if you want to go, well, why does it say Terra Mundi? Okay, this is their three. And if you watch the video that I posted with David explaining this, he explains it. Okay. So beyond EDCs, their baseline, you know, budget, knives, blah, blah, blah. Asymmetrical will be asymmetrical for things like the chunk from Dirk Pinkerton, which is, this is way cool. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't resist. Do you blame me? I mean, that is just, that's a little outside his design language too, but, um, and then Terra Mundi is for go beyond the ordinary, reach for the stars. But I mean, look at the catalog. Okay. So this is their budget line, right? Beyond EDC and here's asymmetrical Terra Mundi. Okay. And that's that Dylan Mallory one too, by the way, this one, the Kaibuga, doesn't that look cool? So, I mean, just run you through this catalog, okay? This, that's going to be three and three quarter inch blade, right? So, I mean, but it'll be like a budget type because it's on in the Beyond EDC line as opposed to Asymmetrical or Terramundi. But, um, oh, and I'm going to kick back to here. Hold on. Yeah, there's some other, it means this is the River Wolf, obviously, blah, blah, blah. And you could pause and read on that one. Comes in a nice box, et cetera, et cetera. Is this the Dylan Mallory? This is a new one from Dylan Mallory. Okay, the Ray, check that out. That is a smart looking knife right there. So that's going to be on the Terra Mundi bunch as well. And then back to their budget line, Beyond EDC, that that's cool little cleaver thing and then where was the oh there see there's the chunk from P pinkerton which i think is really good and it's three and a half inch blade but boy i mean it's a chunk it feels like more okay so they're doing some other crazy stuff in here i mean there's there's a bunch of the catalog i didn't want to take too much of your time but you, you see what i'm saying you see what I'm saying? Okay, now, hold on. Here, we're going to drop a little bit because I just had to get the catalog under there. Just chunk or river, river wolf. That's what we're all about today. And, oh, I got to take it off the end here. Okay, never mind. If I can. And here's what the end says right here. 2101, does this say? And this is number eight. Oh, well, he had them. You know, in a box there behind the booth, and he goes, "Well, what kind of number do you want?" And I go, "Number one." He goes, eh, "Next." <laughs> what number do you want? <laughs> okay, I'll take two. Next. So I, I got number eight because I didn't want an odd number because I know there's some people. If I ever sell this, they'll go, "Oh, a number seven or five. I can't do that. My OCD." So even numbers are usually okay, even for you know people who get a little freaky with that. Okay, let me see if there's anything under here. Okay, okay. You know, I never checked underneath. So I got a new log bar insert, pivot, information. Oh, God, I got, yeah. Okay, what do we got here? Well, I mean, this thing, this thing also did list for $300. So, I mean, it wasn't a giveaway, okay. But, I mean, jeez. I mean, I hate to say this, but there is, a, can, are you surprised at how much stuff is going for, like, Five hundred and even six hundred dollars now. I, I mean, I, I wow. I thought, well, that's custom knife territory and up, you know, or mid mid tech, whatever. But whew, 
Okay, so we got we still got stuff on here. I mean, I pulled it out to show off uh, in Atlanta, and then I think I did an Instagram or two here at the house. Other than that, I haven't carried it. I mean, uh, and that's unfortunate, isn't it? But, you know, this is a chunk of change. I mean, this is definitely, I mean, this is definitely reflective of a Demco design, isn't it? Even though this is not Andrew Demco, it's, it's a big, chunky, heavy thing like Demco normally does. And, and it still had some of the kind of the oil stuff because of that paper but it comes in this okay inside the other box so um that's that's pretty well protected and oh let's let's grab the scale because that yeah baby okay let's drop you okay Ooh, it's got a sound doesn't it Ooh, basically 202 grams let's roll it back around 7.12 ounces. Yeah, like I said, it's not a lightweight. Um, not at all. I figured it was at least six and a half, but uh, three and three quarter all day long as far as blade length goes and cutting length not much less than that, pretty much 3.6 at about 97 millimeter length blade and then we're, you know, 8.65 maybe, uh, overall length at 22 centimeters. And I don't think it's as fat as I thought it would be. No, it's not. It's point, It's just a half inch. It's not that much. 13 millimeters. Um, I thought it was going to be fatter than that, but it's not. And, and you know what? That's four millimeter blade stock at 0.15. Okay. So it's got some pretty heavy blade stock there. And then you've got this big, huge choil up here, so you can just jump right up on that big time. Ah, where's a decent piece of paper that I can cut on? I've got a little chunk over there, but I'm going, nah, that's not going to work. Okay. Wow. Okay, yeah, this, I mean, this is sharper than most. As you can see, it just kind of glides through the paper, so... This came out really sharp. Uh, hmm, okay, that's good. Uh, you know, a lot of knives are kind of what I call, uh, you know, standard sharpness or whatever, functionally sharp. But this one is sharper than that. Uh, so it's more like cold steel sharp, you know what I'm saying? A lot of cold steel knives come out really wicked ass sharp. And this one follows that line, actually. But, uh, the, you know, what you get into here as far as ergos, mm, okay, for me, it's okay. But you're taking a chance when you do a design where you're doing this pistol grip thing. It cannot work out for some guys so well. But for me, it does work out. What does my reverse grip feel like? It feels comfortable. It feels good. Okay. Um, so, does it feel... You know, that's the problem with, you know, in the summer, you know, you're wearing pretty light clothing, lightweight. You're not wearing, je if you're wearing jeans, you know, or, or work pants or something like that, seven ounces ain't gonna bother you. You know, it ain't. But if you're wearing really lightweight summer clothes because it's hot, this is gonna woggle around in your pocket a lot. And this may not be what you're gonna carry during that season particularly. You know, so I have a feeling this will be more like a late fall winter carry for me. But it's just a good looking uh, design. I like it. It does look Demco-ish, does it not? And it was neat that they got them to collaborate with them on that. It's not like Beyond EDC. It's just a everyday name for most knife enthusiasts. Um, blade to handle length looks pretty adequate this of course no it doesn't really flow into this bolster and i'm looking around and that's because this is where they placed the stop and maybe for a reason you know that it had to work out that way and therefore this but i mean how many demco knives have you seen that 
that don't flow into the bolster. A bunch of them. Because they had like triad lock or whatever and it didn't it didn't flow. So, okay, it's just part of that. Um, the hardware looks pretty good and it looks to me like... Yeah, those are number eights. That obviously is a number six. Um, wow, I'm going to have to look on this but i i'm not sure but what you can't flip that clip and you probably should be able to we'll check it out so number eight's not a lot of uh hardware on there is there and of course no entry here and yes it is here so this ought to be pretty simple to take apart i like the fact they got a backspacer on it that titanium pocket clip, what do you think? And since I really don't remember having it in my pocket other than in Atlanta, and, you know, uh, so I was wearing my Duluth fire hose pants, um, it went in and out of the pocket okay. Uh, but I don't remember much more than that. I don't remember a lot about Atlanta. Um, that pit, that's dangerous. Stay out of that. But, yeah, that's... Yeah, it feels good in the hand. Yeah, so ergos, everything works well. I'm kind of surprised, aren't you? I mean, if you look at Beyond EDC, when they first came out with some of their budget models, it was a hit and miss for me. I mean, there was one or two I really liked, and then there was a bunch that I'm, I wasn't really that attracted to. And then at SHOT Show 2022... I saw a video, and I can't remember who did it, with David at SHOT Show, because I didn't go to SHOT. And uh, I was surprised at all the cool-looking knives. And they had introduced this and this as well. And I saw them, and I go, what are they doing, man? How did they do that? Um, and so Pinkerton, but then you get Dylan Mallory, who's done a bunch of stuff with uh, the Archeo and others with uh, Artisan. And uh, he's done his own. He's done his own knives as well, which I bought one of when he did his own. So he'll continue to do Mallory Designs, his own brand, right? But also he's continued to do collaboratives with not only Beyond EDC, but also with Artisan as well. So, but the chunk, huh? We're going to do another video. We're going to bring the chunk in. But talk about a chunk. Uh, this is definitely heavier than the chunk, okay? Uh, and it's not contoured, it's just flat, it's stone wash. It looks pretty working finish, doesn't it? I mean, there's nothing pretty about it, I guess I'd have to say, right? But it fits the hand, and it fits nicely when you, when you crawl up on it like this, and it's heavy duty. And what's your lockup at? Eh, it's 30 to 35 percent uh fit and finish seems pretty darn good so whatever they're doing i guess they're doing it as well as most other manufacturers because i'm there's no gotchas here and you know they've got all these corners like beveled and and of course it's stone wash so that knocks all the all the edges down anyhow right and so is the blade stone wash so it's definitely got that work and finish, but this is a this is a pretty straightforward knife, and it ain't this is a no nonsense knife, you know. It is there. The blade shape, it's there for slicing, piercing, whatever, but it's it's gonna be more of a heavy use, right? With four millimeter stock and M390 blade, ceramic bearings, but it does have a nice drop. Okay, and you can get back because here comes that flipper tab, right? So, boom, hits you in the thumb. Okay, that's good right there. So, it's, it's it's got fidget factor to it all day long. It may have even more fidget factor to it when I get done putting it back together because I may release the pressure a little bit off of that. It may be a little bit more drop shutty when I get done. And pachunk, here we go. Let's get it done. And let's, okay, I'm moving it, moving it, okay. It stopped. The pivot on the other side stopped. So I'm, I'm figuring there's a flat spot in there, especially since there's no entry. Yeah, there is a flat spot, okay. 
So there was no entry into the front anyhow. And let's uh, do you. And let's hope you're not turning. Oh, mama. Let's take the pocket clip off and see how that, that goes. Okay, let me see what we got here. Okay, so we got these little, okay. So I think it's reversible. You got these little pins and you got this screw. Let me take a look at these pins. Whew, they're tiny. That's scary. You don't want to lose those. Wow. And there's the pocket clip screw. And my big problem with this is that I'm turning this. And, and this is turning as well. And I'm not stopping it. Well, I guess I'm not going to take the knife apart because this is moving. This, really, this pin should be D-shaped so this can turn. Either that or please put an entryway on this because this whole thing is just turning and I cannot unscrew it at all. And I can feel it turn and I can't stop it. I tried putting it on a sticky rubber mat, see if I can get it unloaded, but nope. It's just spinning free. Okay. Oh, well. Um, let's check out the pocket clip. Let's see if we can reverse that, even though we can't disassemble the knife. And it looks like we can. We just got to put these little pins here. Uh, in here. Yeah, like that. So the one screw we needed to unscrew, not going to work that way. Okay. I'll get back to David on that and see if he's got something that would be helpful to recommend. But yeah, there you go. Um, and this is a number six. So there you go. Yeah. Right or left hand, no problem. Okay. Well, it's uh, definitely dropping easier now. So no question about that. Uh, let me see if I got any play. No, I don't have any play. So... Yeah, that was uh, maybe a little tighter than it needed to be, but now it's really dropping great. Would have been nice. I mean, I guess I can always slide a little bit of lube in there regardless, um, but I, I can't disassemble it because of this. Um, yeah, if you're not going to make, if you're going to connect these two, you need to make sure that this tube going through here that this screws into, that that has a D shape. Somewhere in here, it'll stop, and this can actually unscrew because it's just turning the whole thing. All right. So that's the River Wolf. I got number eight. Um, I'm sure they will reissue the River Wolf. For those of you who didn't get in on the uh, on the first issue, it's, it's a cool knife. It's definitely a workhorse no nonsense type of knife uh, and uh, you, you never know uh, what they're going to do with it next change the color change the kind of materials etc don't mind this this was squared off i do mind this this wasn't squared off if they would have done that that would have been very helpful otherwise at least you can flip the clip and you might want to play with if you do you know, watch those pins very carefully because uh, they're very, very small. I'll leave you to it. Take care. Yes, we do love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.